Good morning, everybody. Uh, today, we are out here on the farm. We have been moving our cows about, oh, every, well, every day. I mean, we've never stopped moving them. We've uh, changed up some of the movement over the winter. But right now, we are back on feeding 100% grass. I haven't fed any hay in the last week and a half, two weeks, and it's been pretty good. The cow's digestive system's been straightened out, but I think the biggest reason for that is we went from feeding hay every other day to feeding hay one out of three days and then one out of four days and slowly kind of work through and we work towards some new uh, green fescue that was still in the fields. We still had stockpiled forage um, throughout the entire winter. We did not go through all of our hay. I'm looking at different ideas on how to cut down our hay even next year to maybe half of what we used um, this winter. So we're given um, what I'm calling about 25 animal units about an acre a day it's about eight inches of grass to start off with this they've already grazed off yesterday we're about to move them to the next paddock um, we've separated out our bulls so we're not having any calves in january february march um, i will be doing that a little bit differently next year i felt bad about not having any calves this year because we did have 12 calves really late uh, October, November, um, last year in 2021. So we're going to try to keep, keep a good influx of calves on the farm. And because of that, we, we're going to have a little bit of a lull maybe next year. Um, but this year we'll have a good amount of calves still. So, um, we did have one calf since my last video and honestly folks that's been um, probably the hardest one so far um, not because of the calf the calf is great the calf is the first offspring of our south pole uh, bull here on the farm so Cadillac now has had his first calf on the farm but uh, it went here, here's the funny part it was a cow that was not bred and was left in with a black bull for about a year uh, while I was coming up here and starting to learn rotational grazing, starting to learn all that part. But Cadillac came in and um, this it, he went to work right away and uh, took care of that for us. So she actually had a surprise calf because I had hers open and I didn't think she would breed period. And I was getting ready to sell her as a beef. Um, but um, lo and behold, I came out here one day and she was looking big. I mean, she was huge. And next thing I know, there's a little white faced calf um, that's popping through the, <laughs> through the field. And uh, this mama is super protective of that little 50% South Pole bull calf now she's calmed down it's been about a week and a half two weeks since she's had that calf but honestly i i had to stay on the four-wheeler i had to uh keep a little bit of distance from her it wasn't a whole lot of walking through the cows um like i'm used to and because she was very protective of it and if i looked in that direction of that calf she was she was ready to go ready to fight um, but she's calmed down. Um, she's not 100%. still giving her some space. But I am able to walk through the fields and uh, check on the other cows. We're still waiting on our first South Pole uh, full-blood calf. So we're hoping to have that any day. Um, but we'll see how it all goes. You can kind of see. Let me see if I can rotate you here a little bit. The rest of the cows there. That right there is our South Pole heifer, and uh, they're ready to move on. They've they've eaten this down. We're leaving a good amount of residual, honestly, uh, because I'm not. I, I know that the grass doesn't start really growing until April 15th. Now I don't know that from experience. I'm I have read the fire out of grazing books, 
And if you guys are ever interested in like learning more on any topic in life, watching YouTube videos is great, but reading a book and actually having a playbook in front of you on like fencing or how to, to separate paddocks or how to figure out animal units. Um, there's some wonderful books out there. Greg Judy's written uh, some outstanding books, coming out with another book. Um, Alan Nation is another guy that you should get all of his books. Um, Joel Salatin, I've got, I've read his uh, books on salad bar beef. All those are outstanding books. Um, but that's just kind of a little update what's going on on the farm. If you guys have any questions um, or want to see anything else, we'll be here. And uh, we've got some exciting things going on. We're getting ready to start our first um, inter ch chicken enterprise this year. So we'll be doing a small run of chickens, like 50 chickens, just to learn the process. And uh, if you guys, I hope that you'll enjoy that, but we're gonna learn more about farming and uh, stay with us. Y'all have a great day.